Okay, so now that we know that Kevin Durant signed with Brooklyn Nets, maybe you're asking, why or oh, why did he not sign with the Knicks? My name is Pau Salud, Paucast Sports. Let's talk about that. Paucast Sports. You know, um, the initial news and rumors since last year was Kevin Durant likes to play with the Knicks and uh, he's looking forward to it. Uh, but uh, just uh, today, we found out that uh, Kevin Durant uh, signed with Brooklyn Nets and for all the Knicks fans out there here's another issue starting with the free agency and uh, you know it's been a while since we we've really seen the the New York Knicks of old and uh, I can still remember the the mellow drama but uh, it looks like now the drama isn't really about isn't only about uh, mellow but uh, issues and uh, according to news the reason why Kevin Durant did not sign with the Knicks is because the Knicks tried to lowball him and do not want to offer him a max contract uh, mainly because of the injury and uh, the Achilles injury you know there's uh, uh, one player that I remember uh, Kobe Bryant uh, had the same injury if I'm not mistaken uh, he was not able to really come back the same well obviously he's old that's different uh, and Kevin Durant is still young but uh, there you go guys the reason why uh, Kevin Durant is not playing for the Knicks is because James Dolan and his crew did not want to offer a max contract to Kevin Durant uh, and you know there will be not one not two not three teams that will be willing to pay for that amount uh, for Kevin Durant and that includes Brooklyn Nets in fact they offered the uh, two big contracts the Brooklyn Nets to offer two big contracts to Kyrie Irving and uh, and of course Kevin Durant and it looks like DeAndre Jordan is also joining them uh, in Brooklyn so that's really sad for New York Knicks now they end up signing Julius Randle there you go here's the news about uh, Julius Randle three years 63 million contract free agency from Bleachers report and uh, why does uh, New York doesn't want to spend? Uh, well, anyway, uh, I don't know now if they're going to have another superstar there. It, you know, the superstars may be uh, afraid to signing up. There's a lot of rumors again about James Dolan and uh, they're blaming it on the owner. And uh, that could be true or not. Uh, we don't know. But uh, the sad news is uh, New York, New Yorker, especially Knicks fans, sorry. You're not getting, uh, you are not getting Kevin Durant, uh, but uh, you may cheer for the Brooklyn Nets this season. <laughs> All right, so let's let's look at the other uh, free agency news that we haven't covered in the the first video. The first video we covered uh, Kemba Walker signing with uh, the Boston Celtics in replacement for Kyrie, and uh, we also covered uh, Derrick Rose uh, signing with the Dis Detroit Pistons. So here are some of the other news. Uh, Thomas Bryant, uh, Wizards. George Hill, resigned with the Bucks. Uh, Jared D Dudley, not yet resigning, but uh, Nets. DeMar Carroll, agrees to a two year, 12 million with the Spurs. Good mo move for the Spurs. And um, Ricky Rubio, by the way, he signs uh, with the Suns. And that will be it for now. Uh, I just wanted to, oh, Hornets. Hit the panic button and acquiring Terry Rozier from the Celtics. I think this is a good acquisition actually for for the Hornets. Especially um, Terry Rozier uh, had a very good showing with the Boston Celtics. It was just too bad that he had to step back a little bit for Kyrie. And uh, this is a good move uh, for Rozier who is not going to be stepping back again. Uh, because of uh, Kemba Walker now, obviously the Boston Celtics uh, uh, he's not the priority in, in the Celtics in Boston so uh, it's a, a good move for Terry Rose here and I think uh, it's a good quality player he is a good quality player uh, so I'll, I'll be curious and excited to find out how and how and what can he bring to the table for the 
for the Hornet, especially with Kemba Walker out of the equation. What else is out there? All right, nothing much. Uh, so we'll end this uh, quick podcast uh, for now, and don't forget to uh, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think about the issue in New York. Uh, is it the owner's fault? Is it really them? And uh, well, if you're a Knicks fan, sorry for that. Anyway, Pal Salud, Powercast Sports. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Till next time. Step up your game and subscribe to Powercast Sports now. Powercast Sports.